What's up guys, Razor Rays here with you again today And as I was just sitting here, relaxing, sipping on a drink mm, I have just come across another article that shows a Taurus out of Medellin, Colombia Being jack robbed by the criminals yet again This time inside the El Poblado section Remember guys, El Poblado section is supposed to be one of the safer areas in Medellin, but unfortunately, the sticker boys are making their way to that section and starting to pick up on the stick ups on both tourists and rich middle class locals. So let's read the article that I have come across and this article is courtesy of today in 24news.com it says Nat Weir that's the victim Nat Weir was hit by a rubber bullet in the middle of a robbery okay all right it was learned that Nat Weir was injured in the middle of a robbery in the city of Medellin reported by the same company at a press conference. Guys, I am trying to uh, do a translation right now. It says, but when he was walking to the hotel where he was staying in the El Poblado neighborhood, a person approached him to steal it and in the middle of the struggle, he was shot in the chest. Okay, there was a struggle. Guys, uh, I suggest you guys do not try to fight back when someone has a gun pointed at you. All right. Immediately, the young Australian was sent to the hospital where he was treated. And despite the seriousness of the wound, he was discharged. Okay, there you have it, guys. Uh, this tourist was in the El Poblado section of Medellin, Colombia. He was walking. And then, out of nowhere, he was jacked, robbed by the criminals that preside in or that reside in Medellin, Colombia. Mm. Man, oh man, oh man. Let's read a little bit of what the victim had to say. The victim said, a man came out of nowhere with a gun. I think he asked for my wallet and watch. Okay, so he had a watch on. I keep telling people do not wear jewelry. Do not wear jewelry out there in a Medellin, guys. But okay. All right. By taking me longer than he should have, he thought he was going to get something else out and shot me from a meter away. Okay. Thank God it was a rubber bullet. However, he hurt me because he embedded himself in the ribs. I have a hole in my chest and I am going to go to the hospital to be treated. It is a reality that lives in the world. I do not blame them. Okay. Well, I don't know what he means. I do not blame them. Are you talking about you don't blame the the robbers? But uh well I, I blame the robbers. <laughs> you know, you know, people would have feel guilty about getting robbed in these places. And I wouldn't feel guilty. I just tell guys to not wear the jewelry and make yourself a target. But at the end of the day, you have to blame the robbers for doing the crimes. You cannot let them off the hook. So, guys, yeah, there you have it. That was an El Poblado section of Medellin, Colombia. And the article states that there was a struggle. So, guys, I'm going to tell you again. Anyone that pulls out a gun on you, do not try to be a Avenger and try to... Be like Captain America and take the guy's gun because that guy more than likely will shoot you because if he thinks that you're going to take his gun away from him that means you can use his gun against him a lot of times guys when these guys come up on you when they hop off of that motor concho and pull up on you once they take the gun out all they want from you is to hand them over the valuables if you do not struggle with them, if you do not pretend like you're going to attack them, you will more than likely survive the robbery. Yes, you will lose your valuables. You may lose your passport. 
also. But you can always get that stuff back. It is not worth losing your life. Mm -hmm. Like I said, I just wanted to bring y'all that story real quick. And please do not fight with the robbers. Just hand them over the valuables. And more than likely, you will leave that situation unharmed. So guys, this was another quick public service announcement from Razor Rays. Please like and subscribe to the channel. And I'm out.